Welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, you will learn how to validate radio button selection in Angular 17 standalone components. So to validate radio buttons in Angular 17, you can follow these step by step instructions. First one, create a standalone component if not created already. So I'm going to generate the standalone component. In the VS code, in the root directory, I will run the command ng generate component radio dash button dash example dash dash standalone example press enter. So in Angular 17, by default, it generates the standalone components. You don't have to declare it anywhere. It will add the property here. Next, let's define the radio button option. So in the component class, I will define an array of radio button options. So for example, here I will create a property options is equal to array and label and this. So let's add few more like this. Now, uh, next step is to create a form group with a form control for the radio buttons. So you need to import the necessary dependencies like form builder, form group and validators from the angular slash forms. So also we need to inject the form builder in the constructor or without you can inject without the constructor as well by using the inject function like create a variable to hold the form builder inject and pass it the class that you want to inject now we need to create a form give it a time a type of form group okay now I am going to create a constructor within that constructor I will create this dot form is equal to this dot fp dot group and now here I will add selected option here I will add default value and add a validator that validators dot required this will make it required so also make sure to import the form a uh, reactive form group in your component otherwise it will not work next we need to update the component template so open the component template html file and here we will use the form group directive to bind the form group to the template so for that i will create the form with the form group directive on it and we will pass it the form group that we just created in the ts file form so i am getting this error that uh, this type or undefined is not assignable to type form group any the reason is that we have mentioned here that it is optional that's mean we are clearly saying that it can be undefined so maybe you don't need to have it in the constructor you can directly define it here in this way you will not have to provide the question mark here now it is not optional at all and the error has gone now here i will use the for loop option of options track option dot value okay and here now i will pass the input type radio and here i will pass the value that will be coming from the option dot value and then we will add the form control name selected option make sure that this property is 100% same as you defined here otherwise it will not work so this has to be same after that I will add the label option dot label further okay further you have to add it inside the label okay next below that for loop i will add an if condition here i will check if form dot get selected option dot invalid and form dot get selected option question mark dot touched if that's the case if that's true then we will simply show an error message please select an option okay so now now let's use this standalone component in the parent component where you want to use the radio button component import it and 
add it to the import array of the parent components decorator. So for example, I am going to use in the app.component.ts. So in this import array, I will add a radio button example component. And now here in the HTML file, I will use it app radio button example save it and now let's go to the browser and see so you can see that we have several options so let me also add some gap between these element because right now they are looking ugly so here in the html i will add some styles here flex gap 20 pixels okay I am going to press tab button and you will see that as soon as I press tab, it shows the error message because I did not select anything. So this made this condition true. When you press tab, it uh, adds uh, a focus on this input uh, in this radio button. So first of all, uh, it uh, it is touched already because we just clicked on tab button and it was focused so also uh, it was inval invalid so as both conditions were true that's why the error message was appeared so that was pretty simple so that's it that you have now created a standalone component with validated radio buttons in angular 17 your component uses reactive forms to handle the form control and validation the radio buttons are bound to the form control and an error message is displayed if no option is selected i hope that this video uh, provided some value if that's the case then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos upcoming videos in the future also please like and share this video and if you have any questions suggestions or feedback then please leave them in the comment section i will be happy to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time